Guys, the new updates that are available right now in Premiere Pro 2025 are crazy. And stick till the end of this video because I'm gonna show you something even crazier in Premiere Pro Beta. Let's break this down. First up guys, the new properties panel in Premiere Pro is a game changer. It's context aware, meaning it automatically shows you the most frequently used tools based on what you've selected. So if you're working with video, audio, text, or graphics, you'll get quick access to the tools that you need exactly when you need them. And for the first time ever, you can modify multiple clips at once in this panel. No more wasting time going clip by clip. This panel is packed with features like quick actions and one-click access to extra tools when needed. For example, when working with text, you can easily adjust appearance, alignment, or linked styles. And for video clips, you can tweak speed controls and so much more. And guys, what else? Let's check out Premiere Pro's new refreshed and modern design. Premiere Pro now has two dark modes, a light mode and a new high contrast accessibility mode. You can now totally customize it based on your preferences and lighting conditions, making it easier on the eyes. Plus cleaner fonts and typography give it a cleaner and consistent feel across all the other Creative Cloud apps. Creating new projects are also faster using the redesigned project creation dialog. You can now easily name your project, choose storage locations, pick templates, adjust settings, and even skip the import step if you're not ready for that yet. This is very, very useful. For all of you Canon users, there is expanded native support for Canon EOS C80 camera files. This means no more transcoding. You can just import your footage and start editing immediately. Now, for those of you guys testing out Premiere Pro Beta, get ready for something freaking magical. I'm talking about Generative Extend powered by Adobe's Firefly AI. If you've ever had a clip cut too short or needed just a few extra frames for a transition or an emotional beat, this is the tool for you. With Generative Extend, you can literally extend your video or audio clips by just dragging the edges. No more awkward cuts, no more time-consuming workarounds, like slowing down footage or duplicating frames. It creates seamless, photorealistic video and audio extensions so that you can keep your story flowing smoothly. It's perfect for things like smoothing out transitions, creating room tone, or extending those JNL cuts to maintain pacing. And what's the best part? You can keep working in your timeline as Generative Extend creates those extensions in the background. But like any beta feature, there are gonna be some limitations. Right now, it only works with 1920-1080 or 1280-720 resolutions. It only works with 16 by nine aspect ratios, and the audio is limited to mono and stereo. Adobe is rapidly improving it though, so check back for future iterations. Generative Extend also includes content credentials, so that when you export your product, you can add metadata to show how your video was created, ensuring transparency for your audience. It's actually part of Adobe's commitment to ethical AI development. There's a lot of things to be excited about. Premiere Pro is getting crazy. If you are a video editor, please comment below. And if you need a video editor, please comment below. Let's make a connection.